erectile dysfunction is one of the earliest signs of vascular disease. That's right. If we take a look at your arteries, the inside of the arteries are lined with the single cell layer called the endothelial layer. And so what erectile dysfunction is, it's a problem with the vascular system. That layer of cells is not working correctly. There's certain things in your body that signal the relaxation of your arteries to open up, vasodilate, and allow blood flow. And I'm talking about blood flow into your private parts. That molecule is called nitric oxide. In animal studies, when they completely blocked nitric oxide, there was a complete failure with erections. Nitric oxide can lower or inhibit testosterone. And there is some truth to that. But there's also some truth that nitric oxide can increase testosterone. So how can you have these two conflicting ideas? When you have super high levels of nitric oxide, that can inhibit testosterone. When you have mild or normal levels of nitric oxide, then you will trigger the increase of testosterone. And so with all the natural remedies and lifestyle actions I'm going to talk about, you're not going to get a massive high level stimulation of nitric oxide. But you do get a massive level of nitric oxide when you're taking Viagra or when you get chronic inflammation. The nitric oxide comes in there and acts as a substitute for oxygen. So in other words, you don't have to worry about nitric oxide inhibiting your testosterone.